here. I've already heard several reports that you're standing out, kind of exceeding expectations. How, how good has that felt to, to see all that work coming? I mean, it's great just being being in college, just getting my feet wet, just got to keep going, just keep getting better each day. Yeah. What can you bring to this Indiana team this year? A uh, versatile player. Just, I mean, I'm here to win. That's really, that's really all it is for me. When you come in this offseason, you follow another McDonald's All-American <laughs> your prior, McKenzie and Baco. Yeah. How have you kind of noticed him kind of take you under his, his wing a little bit? I mean, that's my matchup every day. So it's like we, we, get, we get each other better each day. Just, I mean, he builds off what I give, like how we play. And I build off what he does as well. So it's just we just get each other better. That's some, really it. Some friendly competition yeah, in practice? Yeah, exactly. Is there any points this offseason where you guys have kind of gone right back and forth at each other, kind most, of one-on-one? Most definitely. Most definitely. Because it's like one time I will score, and then he'll come down, he'll score, and then you know, then you can't let it, you can't let it die down with that. You just got, you got to keep going. Was there anything you've noticed about his game that, I mean, you didn't play with him last year, yeah. but maybe that might be different heading into this season? I would say how consistent his shot is. Like, like he can shoot. Like, like he can, he can really shoot. That is, that's the that's the real thing that stood out to me personally. Malik just told me that McKenzie was the biggest trash talker on the team, or at least the most effective trash talker. Yeah. Have you seen that side of it? I haven't, personally. I okay. haven't. Maybe okay. that might be from past, but in the <laughs> okay. summer, I haven't, I haven't seen anything. He's being nice to you so far. <laughs> he talked, McKenzie talked about kind of the team bonding kind of stuff that yeah. you guys have done. He, he claimed that he was the best at pretty much everything, whether it was putt-putt, fishing, oh, painting. Do you disagree with that? I mean, we weren't, I think, because it, like, it was like different groups. But we weren't really on the same group. But I mean, if that's I mean, if that's what he thinks, you know. Just Doesn't him, surprise you. Let him, let him rock with it. <laughs> what kind of was the importance of some of those team bonding groups? Who was your group? Kind of what what went into that, and how big is it moving forward? So I mean, it was me, um, Gabe Cubs, Langdon, uh, and Goodis. He's a walk on. And I mean, the the main the main thing behind it was because we have so many new players, like transfers and stuff. Just have everybody close so because you know in college when, once you're done working out you just go back do your own thing and these were just a way of just us being together and just like just connecting getting to know one each other just a couple of weeks now into the semester how have you enjoyed just being on campus and being around bloomington for the first couple of weeks uh, i mean it's it's nice it's a little it's a little hectic sometimes you know with all the people but it's really nice i like it i like how everything's in one spot like you can get to where you need to just really quick have any of your older teammates kind of given you the spots to go around town for food stuff like that uh, not really. They know I like Buffalo Louis though. I, I live up there. I, it's a nice, it's a nice little spot. What's your order of Buffalo Louis? On like a simple day like today, I would just go in a like 15 boneless wings, sweet barbecue. It's nice and simple, you know. Where, where are you at with your three-point shot? Like, how has it translated to this level in practice against against this level of competition? Oh uh, God, I mean, it was. It's nothing wrong with it. I know people people love to talk about it, but it's never been anything wrong. Like in high school, like I was known as a shooter. So it's like when all the little allegations and all that stuff was coming out, I was like, you just, I mean, you just got like, you just got wrong with it. But no, nah, it's definitely, it's definitely been good. Just getting my, getting my feet wet, still just learning each day, just right. continuing to get better. So would, you, would it be fair to describe you as a three-level scorer? Then? Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's how I would describe it. Like if you were to ask me right. how would you describe, I would say that first. Okay. Well, I it seemed that, I mean, we heard your name, I think, a couple of summers ago in terms of Indiana recruiting you, but it kind of seemed to come out of nowhere that, yeah. that you ended up here. What was kind of going on in terms of your recruitment towards the end there and, and how it came to be that you ended up here? Um, so it was here in the G League. So we were really, like, really focused on the G League, too. So it was like when that kind of, like, when that obviously got, like, disbarred. So it was like, this was like, boom, number one choice. Because both, both of them, it was kind of like 50 50, because you have pro coaching staff here, and then you obviously know what the G League is. Like, you go there, you're a pro at a young age. So it's like, so the, those were the main two, and then why, when that disbarred, this was boom, right then and there. What was it about the visit that kind of convinced you that this was the place you wanted to be? Um, I would say the culture of Indiana, just in general, the coaching staff. Like I can see like their connection, like they were real genuine. So I, I really like that personally. What is that culture of Indiana basketball? Uh, I mean it's literally a winning culture, but it's like I mean obviously this year we think we're gonna bring that back, do do big things. But I just like the connection the coaches had, even just with one another. Like how they would talk to each other, it was it was a real good bond they had. One of the coaches that has stood out when talking to players is Cliff Marshall. Yeah. What have you noticed from him this offseason? How important has he been for getting acclimated? I mean, one thing I know, he's always positive. Like, it's never been a day that he's been negative. So I really, I really think people need to learn from that. Like, always positive. Thanks, Bryce. Bryson, I've been asking others uh, to give us a bit of a scouting report on you since we haven't seen you uh, before, but. 
Now that you've been playing with, with this level of guys here for a couple of months, what part of, what parts of your game do you, do you look at and say, okay, I really need to work on that, or I need to work on this? Um, I wouldn't say it's like like work on it. I just think in college terms, I would need to learn like more with the like the defensive as Indiana wants to put in. So like I'm a good defensive player, but they just want you in certain spots. I just think I just need to keep building on that. What about offensively? Uh, offensively, I mean we're just getting better each day. Yeah. Just keep working. But I mean I've been doing, I've been holding, I've been holding my own. So yeah. just just keep going. Indiana's had two straight Big Ten freshmen of the year. Do you, do you embrace that? Yeah, most definitely. That's the plan. Just gotta keep working. Yeah. What's impressed you about uh, Miles Rice and Kane and Carl? What they, what, they, what they can bring? How hard they work. They work really hard. They both have high IQs. And I mean, just playing with them, being on the same team, as in you just keep learning. Just especially me, because I like to run. And both of them are super fast. So if you get out and run with them, you're, it's gonna be a good day. Watching some film of you, like from high school days, it seemed like you're really comfortable in the mid range. Mm -hmm. You don't see a lot of emphasis on that, but I mean. How, how did you develop maybe to be comfortable in that area of the court? Was that kind of just taking what you were given at that level, or, or what was that? That's a good question. I mean, I think when I was coming up, you know, most most high school guys is usually either they're just a straight shooter well, or they're just like a straight slasher. So it's like when you do a certain move in high school and you just stop and just pull up, dudes aren't like really expecting it. So they just like, like if you watch certain clips, like certain dudes, I would do a move and they would just keep running. <laughs> so it was like they, just, they just didn't know what was coming. So me and my dad, we worked on that a lot. Heading into your first season with Indiana, what do you want Indiana fans to know about you? Uh, I work hard every day. I mean, I'm here to win. It's just, yeah, expect me to come out there and try to win these games. Has there been any, like, welcome to college moments in the summer and workouts or anything like that where you're like, wow, these, this is a different level? Or have you felt pretty comfortable the whole time? Yeah, I feel pretty comfortable. It's been, it hasn't really been anything that really, like, caught me off guard. Okay. Right, so I'm curious, like, for when you committed here, mm -hmm. Uh, there was a lot of the rest of this roster that got sort of built after yeah. you. Like, like how exciting was that for you? Like day after day after day, when when Omar comes and Miles comes, like how exciting was that just to watch this whole team get put together? I mean, it was huge because I mean, obviously you guys know. Like right when I committed, I think Liam just decommitted, so it was like it was a lot going on. And so when they when I saw all those names coming out, I did like some research on them, and I was like, man, we we they're definitely building a good team. Uh, was it kind of weird committing here, kind of not knowing who you're going to be playing with? That's a great question. Um, it was just a little bit, but I mean, you come here and you saw, like you said, all those names that were coming, yeah. and it was like you know, like the coaching staff. I got a, like a vibe from them that they were going to be able to build what we have, like the the current guys and then the new guys that came in. So I think I think would be solid. What role have your parents played in just shaping you as this person and as a basketball player? Everything, because. I, we haven't really had any other like coaches in my life besides high school, because it's like without the AAU thing, you know, a lot of AAU guys they like tag along with the kids and stuff. But it's like we, it's just it's just been me and my parents, just the whole ride, really. How do you think that changed your development, just in terms of not playing AAU like a lot of these other players have? I would say it was strictly work. Like it's not a lot of it's not a lot of voices in your ear. Like me personally, I was only listening to like my dad. So it's like, even though he would take me to play certain areas, like the little programs and stuff, it was mainly him just telling me how to get better each day, day in, day out. That was really it for me. How have you settled in here in Bloomington? Your first year, year number one. Like how is life going just in the city in general? Oh, it's smooth. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. Just getting, getting used to everything, like all the people. Obviously, you're coming in here. It's the first year. A lot of transfers coming in here first year. Yeah. How have you built a, built a relationship with those guys? And is there anyone you've really spent a lot of time with off the court? Uh, I mean, the relationship, I think, with this team, which is, is, is hasn't been normal for me, like, we really connected, like, quickly. But I usually hang out with, like, me, Jakai. I mean, it's crazy because we all we all really hang out, which is which is weird. Like, you wouldn't, you really wouldn't, like, you wouldn't see that a lot. Any favorite restaurants right now in Blue Great question. It's <laughs> um, an important one, I know. We we go to Buffalo's a lot. Yeah. That's, I, <laughs> yeah. I, say, I say that's a hot spot. We, right. we be there a lot. Thank you.